Now, four volunteers have emerged from a small compound at a NASA base in Texas after spending more than a year living in conditions designed to simulate those on Mars. They've been growing crops, operating equipment and carrying out experiments to help NASA prepare for a future mission to Mars. Aina Aslam reports. This is the moment Kelly Haston, Ross Brockwell, Nathan Jones and Uncle Solario emerged from the Mars simulator that's been their home for the past 378 days. As they left the 3D printed habitat and finally reunited with their families, they appear to be in high spirits. I am so proud and honored to be part of this crew and project and to be a part of a small incremental uh, part of the work being done here on Earth that will one day enable humans to explore and live on Mars. The volunteers spent most of their time in the small compound simulating operations future astronauts will have to do, including going for Mars walks in a red sand pit, growing and harvesting vegetables and dealing with a 22-minute communication lag with Earth. NASA is eager to know how they got on with the experiments and their prolonged isolation. This mission is an important step in NASA's plan to set foot on Mars by the early 2040s. The volunteers were thanked for devoting a year of their lives to serve humanity's exploration of space. Anna Aslam, BBC News.